Hey guys, so today I'll be showing you guys how to automate R scripts on a Windows system. So we'll start off with our R script. Here I'm going to set my working directory. So I'm just going to copy the path. These should be forward slashes. All right, so the next step is to actually install the packages you are going to need for this script. And I'm going to set my library path. calling dot lib paths one and then I'll actually install the packages here we need to set our repos location depending on your location and then lib which is going to be our library path. After we install the packages, we're going to call them in. And now we can begin our script. All right, so for the script, I just want to get historical data. So we'll test this out. And then I'm just going to write the data out. I'm going to use write zoo stock file. You have to enter the full path. So here we'll just name it spy.csv. So here we'll just run this. We'll take a look at the working directory. I'm going to try to enter a delimiter. By running sep, comma. We'll go ahead and rerun this. Let's take a look at the data. Now it's formatted the way I want. So now that we know that our script actually works, we can go ahead and schedule a task to run this automatically. But first, go ahead and call Notepad. Here I'm going to write the instructions. So I'm going to start by doing at echo off C drive path so here we need to enter the path of where R is located at so for most people it'll be C program files go to R and then we'll use the latest version then it'll be bin and then x64 so we essentially we're going to be calling our script here, but we need to set the path to where it's located at. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Then we need to set the current directory to where your R script is located. Then we need to call our script and then your file name. And then after that's done running, we're going to do pause. So we'll go ahead and save this. It has a bat file. All right, so close this out. We're going to have to go to task scheduler. And 
and then we're going to go to create a task. Here you'll set the name. For triggers, we're going to do new. I want this to run weekly. Every Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. And then we'll start it for tomorrow after the market closes and we'll give it a 15 minute break to let the data actually upload. So I'll leave these as default and we'll go to actions. We'll click on new. We want to start a program. So here we have to search for our bat file. Hit open, hit OK, we'll check conditions, we'll leave these as default, settings, we'll leave these as default, so we'll hit OK, and now it's set to run for tomorrow. So here we see all of our scripts, and I guess we could go ahead and test it out by right clicking and then hit run. So this is what it'll look like every time it runs. So it's done running. It says press any key to continue. I guess we could add some lines here that so that we know that it's actually running. Now let's try rerunning it. So it was fairly quick. Here we see our now getting data, now writing data, and then it's done. All right guys, so that's pretty much it for this video. It's fairly simple to schedule and automate an R script. Just make sure you require all the packages you're gonna need or else it'll break and that you use full path names. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.